there's an association between habitual yogurt consumption and a reduction in weight gain as people age, as well as better blood pressure parameters. This statement was made during the 2013 Experimental Biology Conference in Boston, where the Yogurt and Nutrition Initiative had the opportunity to give science. In the Framingham study, we looked at um, over 3,000 individuals and followed them for over 12 years. And we were able to see that overall dairy products did reduce weight gain in that cohort by over 50% over that time period. And research has started to recognize the value of fermented dairy products and yogurt in weight reducing programs. There is a certain controversy uh, surrounding the issue of the relationship between dairy food and the proneness to obesity. But there is a growing literature indicating that uh, in low calcium consumers, obese individuals being subjected to a weight reducing program, uh, dairy products might accentuate the benefits of a weight reducing program. Some randomized trials have also demonstrated a positive impact of dairy products on obesity and type 2 diabetes. When knowing the, the high content of saturated fat in many dairy products, mm -hmm. it, you could say it's a kind of mystery. But we have now also today quite a few randomized trials that have looked at this issue and mainly looked at risk factors. And we can see that uh, a high content of dairy products uh, actually produce a slight reduction in body fat but also seem to in, in improve insulin sensitivity and also uh, give some beneficial changes in risk factors of cardiovascular disease. But fermented dairy consumption could also have some beneficial effects in metabolic diseases. That consumption of dairy products and particularly the fermented dairy products as yogurt and cheese seem to have some protective effect on cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. but also on, on type 2 diabetes. In this context, the saturated fat inside fermented dairies doesn't necessarily have a negative impact on LDL products and on cardiovascular diseases. For dairy products, it looks like that the fermented products, such as yogurt and cheese, seem to be more healthy than others. And it's probably due to some of the byproducts in by the box in the the bacteria in, in the yogurts and cheese that they produce some different maybe short chain uh, fatty acids and other products that, that have some health benefits. And it may vary uh, from what kind of, of bacteria it is. So in order to fight against obesity and cardiovascular disease, yogurt is an interesting food product. Dairy products obviously brings a lot of uh, key nutrients uh, to, uh, to children, but also teenagers and adults. It brings uh, obviously calcium, uh, it brings a lot of vitamins, and it's a very good source of protein. And in that respect, the, uh, the yogurt in the dairy category uh, is even better from the point of view that it brings additional protein. So uh, I think it's an essential uh, nutrient, it's an essential food uh, for uh, both the growth of children and the prevention also of obesity in adolescents and the adults, which we see unfortunately more and more. The Yogurt and Nutrition Initiative is a unique collaboration between the American Society for Nutrition and the Dannon Institute International.